Good morning to you. Welcome to a new weekly. Welcome, come one, come all. Uh, it is a new week, it is a new day, it's a new dawn. I know people get annoyed when I sing that because I sing it the wrong way around. Um, it's Monday morning, it's half past seven. I am ready to have this week and I hope you are too. <laughs> sound like Chewbacca. I don't know where to start even with saying this, so I don't know how hard it's gonna be when I have to say more than this. I'm about to film the hardest video that I've ever filmed, ever. I know that sound, I know that that's a thing that people say, like, I'm about to film the biggest video, the hardest video, the saddest video. Um, this is a story that I've just never told online, um, and I've only recently started even saying bits of it offline to friends and family. Um, but I've spent the last two months writing notes on how I would like to tell the story of <laughs> when I was younger, I was really severely abused um, by someone in my life. So, God, <laughs> it's really hard just saying that. Um, so I'm going to make this video because I recently went and had a look around the NSPCC in Childline. Do you remember it was months ago? <laughs> Feels like recent, but it wasn't. Um, and I would like to find the strength to share my story because I am setting up a Just Giving page and I would like people to be able to help other people reach out and share their stories and not be in horrible situations. Um, mm. Yeah, tricky one. Tricky one, tricky one. But it's something I've wanted to talk about for a long time for lots and lots and lots of reasons. So today's the day. Everyone's gone out. Liam's gone to work, Pearl's gone to playgroup with her nanny. She wasn't just like, see you later mum, off to playgroup. And I'm gonna film this. I don't know if there'll be any footage for the rest of the day on this vlog. I've basically wiped my calendar so that if I want to, I can just wallow. And I don't, I don't often give myself the permission to have a wallow day. Um, but uh, <laughs> it, it feels like this might need to be one. So who knows if I'll be back, if not be tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to upload that video probably um, later in the year. It's going to take me a while to edit. It's not going to take me long to actually edit it, but to want to watch that footage back. So I'm just going to go slowly, slowly with it. And uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> See you later. Good morning. It's Tuesday. I seem to have come to the party dressed as an egg with eyebrows. Um, I didn't film anything yesterday after I made that video. That was, I mean... I'm still undecided about what I'm going to do about that footage because I, oh god, <laughs> I had a good cry, I had a very good cry and once I'd finished I went round to Esther's house and she made me some soup and I sat on her sofa and we made big plans for exciting things, I say big plans, we've booked colonics, that's taken a turn no one was expecting from the story of domestic abuse to we've booked colonics, um, we're going to start doing some like things to feel better like reiki and colonics so if you have any suggestions just for fun really i don't feel like i need to feel better but i think they will be fun although i'm not sure how fun a colonic is but she assures me that afterwards i'm going to feel like a new woman um <clears throat> i'm not keen on the whole tube up the bum situ but again i've been reassured tube up the bum equals new woman so give it a go eh give it a go i'm gonna have some breakfast now pearl has gone down for a nap it was so hard to get her to go down for a nap why what if somebody if someone asked me to have a nap i would not fight it that hard why do babies do this it's also like why do people say oh i slept like a baby it's like babies are the worst sleepers in the world Anyway, these are, these are some musings. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm having a really homey day today. Tuesday is like my mum day. We don't have a nanny on a Tuesday and Liam is at work until late. So it's just me and Pearl and then Darcy. And I don't really have plans, which makes me feel very uncomfortable because normally I have a to-do list and I try not to have a to-do list on a Tuesday. Uh, and now I don't have work things. So I don't really know what to do for my day and I'm starting to feel paranoid that maybe without work I don't have anything to offer and I really am just an egg with eyebrows. Oh wow, I'm living on the edge. I've got red presto, pesto, red pesto brown bagels with mixed bean salad, a little bit of cheese and some coleslaw. Woo 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 woo! <laughs> oh, that's a nice game. Ready? Daddy, where are we? Where are we? <laughs> Just constantly 
Bring your fingers in my mouth. Nah. No, thank you. We're having a little snuggle. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, no. <laughs> don't you wish your top knot was hot like this? Don't you wish your top knot was sweet like this? Don't you? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't you? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I mean, look at this. Let me just really enhance this a lot. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow, Pearl. Wow. Pearly is having some floor time with the terrifying dolls. Aren't you, my love? Over there, we've got dolls that can move their bodies in ways they never should. This is how Pearl crawls, by the way. She just commando crawls. He's that cheeky girl. <laughs> He's that cheeky girl. We are having for lunch today. Pasta, mint sauce, butternut squash, onion, carrot and tomato. And that has just defrosted in here. You know that said mint sauce, but it's just like a tomato-y sauce. I'm going to add in some of this frozen salmon because she loves salmon. Um, and obviously heat that. So that's the little concoction we've got this morning. Well, it's noon, lunchtime. This is what I get if I take too long to make it. She just slumps down and gets cross at me. You're a very demanding dinner guest, aren't you? Very demanding. I wouldn't do well if you were the Church of Master Chef, would I? <coughs> we're saying goodbye to this pram today. I'll tell you more about why later. But this pram served us well. This was the Silver Cross Wayfarer. Um, I can't remember what the colourway was, but I do think it was a limited edition one. Um, and we're saying goodbye to her today. Hello. I'm being quite quiet because Pearl's just waking up from her nap. I'm about to go and get Darcy from school. I just wanted to let you know about the Silver Cross pram. A lot of you ask me, not a lot, not loads of people, but I do sometimes get questions about where all the prams go. You know, I am a pram and pushchair obsessive. I love them. I have loads. They just make my heart feel fluttery with joy. But I only have one baby and I only have like one set of hands so I don't need all of those prams so what I do is I use them for a while and then when I hear of someone who has just had a baby or needs a pram then I just give it to them um, and I feel like it's a win-win for everybody because the brand who kindly sent it they've obviously sent it so they get a bit of exposure for their brand and I always thank pushchair brands for sending me something so they've had a little bit of exposure i've had a little push around with the pram and enjoyed it and then the other family if they say yes so i don't force on people they've had it so someone we know our lovely cleaner her daughter is having a baby in a couple of weeks and i said oh you might already have a pram but we have one and she did and she said she would love to have a second pram so there we are that's where it's gone to and that's kind of just what happens with all the baby things really, I just wait till I hear of someone that's having a baby, then I'm like, oh, do you need a such and such? Um, and that's it really, I probably made it sound like a little bit more dramatic than it actually is, like we're saying goodbye to it now. I could do, oh my top's all caught up, could have done like a dramatic, dramatic thumbnail of like saying goodbye. Um, but it's a bit much. Anyway, I'm gonna go and do the school run now and get my big baby my Darcy girl, uh, and then get dinner on, and then it's brownies tonight, it's all, it's all go, so I'm gonna go. On a side note, I bought these completely gorgeous boots from Sainsbury's recently, and I freaking love them. They're a size 8, which is a size too big for me, but I don't mind, I just like to throw them on. I think they are really nice, and I thought I would share them with you, because I thought you would like them too. Oh my god, I'm a fashion vlogger, I'm so smooth. <sighs> Okay, school pickup done, and we have had a delivery whilst we've been out, and I'm a little bit excited to share it with you. I love supporting small businesses that I found on Instagram. I can't take the credit for this. I didn't find it myself. Giovanna Fletcher mentioned it on her stories. Um, hello, you. Who's that? Um, and I thought it was a genius product that every mother needs, so I have bought one. So this is the Totter and Tumble Luxury Playmats, um, and we'll go and, and get it out. Oh, It's a star mat, yes. it's really cool, but you'll find out when it's took it out, but I don't really know what it is, but it's just like our clean, should we, should we go clean mat, but our mat is really filthy. Oh, thank you, Darcy. Because Leah does not hoover it, <laughs> but Mummy does all the work with the butt. Of with, the, with the butt? Yeah, the butt of pearl. The butt of pearl, what do you mean? You clean 
Oh, I cleaned her nappies. She has stinky, stinky. <laughs> she does. Liam does do a lot of doodles. It's not just mummy. But I appreciate that we've got that on camera. So mummy looks good. I'll just carry this in myself, okay? You guys just don't worry about me. You guys just get in the way. Thanks, guys. Thanks for your support. So there's the website if you are looking to... Um, Get one for yourself, totterandtumble.co.uk. I'm not at all being sponsored for them, and it's not a gift, bought it, um, but want to share. So the first thing we need to do is take this rug. Oh, oh, oh God. Doodles, come here. If I, if I lift this up, will you pull the rug out? So come on this side. Right, I'm going to lift this up and you pull, okay? Three, two, one, pull, 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 pull. pull. Yes, well done. All right. Let's try this one. Okay. Oh god, it needs a little bit of a clean underneath. It's okay. Right, roll, roll, roll. Let's get this. Roll, roll, roll. I've rolled. Fabulous. Fabulous. So, stop her from getting those scissors. So, as you know, we have this grey rug here that's getting a little bit manky. Oh no! <laughs> we have a, a grey rug that's getting a bit manky. I know, but Pearl plays this and we want something soft. So let's open this up and replace. So, would you like to see my purr? Hang on, look, who it is? That's, this is the boring bat. It's not a boring bat, you cheeky monkey. It's amazing. Come out of the way. Comes like this. Three, two, oh no, one. So it's basically a plastic mat, it's double sided, <laughs> you excited, yes, um, so you can have this side or I like the stars best, um, and it is, it's plastic, you can wipe it, it's a bit thin, it's squidgy, it's not like a, yeah, it's like a very, very nice gym mat, there we go, what do you think, do you like it? <laughs> Another great thing that I've just realised about this mat is if you have a boyfriend like I do who doesn't listen to you when you say, please don't wear your shoes inside, please don't wear your shoes, wear your shoes off in the house family, but Liam hasn't got the memo yet and he puts his shoes on my cream carpets upstairs and my carpets downstairs and it upsets me. But now, shoe it all you like, my love, because I can wipe it clean. We've got pesto pasta for the big one. My little one has just got pasta and sweet corn. Is that nice? Oh, nice, my sweet. Good morning, it's Wednesday, and it's not even the morning. I've just not vlogged today, but look, I've got a cameo. It's Louise Pentland, favourite of the vlog cameo. I'm saying favourite, I'm not sure that you are the favourite. Turn around, turn around. It's my dad. Hello. Hello, dad. You've just got off a flight, haven't you? Quite I have. literally. Yeah, well, Dro driven from the it's airport. now about a mad morning. It's two o'clock now, mm. and I landed at seven. At he uh, Gatwick, then I had to get the coach from Gatwick to Heathrow, and then the coach was a bit early, and it was going to sit for 50 minutes at Terminal 5 before it went to Terminal 4, then Terminal 3, which is where my car is. Stories as long as your journey, babe. I just called so, you babe. So, <laughs> I thought I was talking to Liam because I was so used to taking the mick out of Liam. I'm going to be sick. Oh, it's worse than when you call your teacher mum. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like also my banter didn't work because I called you that. I'm going to actually vomit, Dad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you so, are the least babe person I know in the whole world. You are the anti-babe. So you don't want the rest of the story then? <laughs> I don't think anybody wants the rest of the story. Anyway, Dad's here. <laughs> Disgusting. You never want to call someone babe that's not your babe. I never thought I'd be the per kind of person that uses the word babe anyway, but I am. I am that person. It is part of me. And I just called my dad a babe. Uh, it was two hours ago now, but, you know, it's haunting me. We've had a great meeting. We had my accountant over, who is also my dad's accountant, and we've had a great big, a great big bushy beard. Name that film. Um, we've had a great big money talk. I worry about money all the time. Um, incidentally, I'm putting up a video tonight about money, which makes me feel very vulnerable because it's just not something I talk about a lot to you. And I think the reason for that is I feel very uncomfortable. Um, I, I feel uncomfortable for, for two reasons. I feel uncomfortable because I never want to appear like I'm boasting about money. 
when I was a receptionist, before all of this started, I left uni, I did psychology and biology, I was a receptionist and I was on £16,000 a year. And I remember that my dad was telling me about this certain type of light you could buy. And I was like, yeah, I just can't afford it. And dad said, it's £40, that's peanuts. And I remember being so incensed that my dad would suggest that £40 was peanuts i.e. not much money, because £40 is a lot of money. It's a lot of money now, it was a lot of money then. £40 was kind of, I think it worked out to be about like a day's worth of work for me. And I was like, you, my dad's a very comfortable man. And it used to really bother me that he had forgotten, or I mean, he'll say he hasn't, uh, that, he, that he felt that way about money, because it felt like, it, like he'd lost touch and it was insulting to me that he, had done that because I was like 40 pounds is not peanuts 40 pounds is like my monthly fun money anyway anyway so I feel uncomfortable to talk to you guys about money because I would wager <laughs> no pun intended that a lot of you are in that sort of financial position that I was in so I don't ever want to be that woman that's like yeah 40 pounds is nothing <laughs> um so I don't like to talk about money but the fact of the matter is this job social media publishing um all the stuff i do does generate an income and i worry that right now it's a really healthy income but will it be forever what can i do to ensure that my children are looked after that um when this does die down because i don't know how long this is going to last that there's um stuff in place so can i be putting into a pension can i be putting into ices um, should I be investing in things? All of that kind of stuff. I already do have some investments I've been making over the last few years, but I just want to like really, really tie everything up so everything's really secure. Because um, I worry about these things and uh, yeah, so that's what we've been talking about today. Um, so that's what I've been doing this afternoon. But now I am going to get my laptop. Um, I'd like to make some popcorn because I would like a snack and popcorn is a very good snack and I'm going to answer some emails from Gleam so I'm afraid today is just not a very exciting filmy day um, and I feel like I'm letting you down but I tell you what I have got for later oh what a treat I'm going to have a look at the drum of my washing machine because a lot of you last week said you know those marks that were on the things well I never found out what they were but a lot of you said maybe my, the ring around my drum is grubby Maybe I've got a grubby ring. So I'm going to pull my ring back and have a look and see if it's grubby. I'm going to take you with me because I think if... I, I sort of want it to be absolutely filthy because I feel really satisfied to then wipe it off. I'll almost be disappointed if I've got a clean ring. Um, I hope I have got a grubby ring. Right, I'm going to stop saying that because I know where our brains have all gone with that. Louise and her grubby ring. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go make some popcorn. I've had a little Amazon order. Amazon order. Amazon order. I need a jingle for that. The first thing is the pink stuff. Miracle cleaning paste. This is loved by our beloved Mrs. Hinch Home. Um, old Hinchy Poos. So I have bought that to give that a go also recommended by her i don't know if it's the same brand but it looks similar the turbo scrub oh, maybe i could use the turbo scrub on my grubby ring um precision cleaning for hard to reach areas mm, comfort grip and lightweight oh my god i'm gonna try this this week so we can all enjoy that i know i didn't do the lime scale thing last week so perhaps i'll do it this week maybe i'll call this video grubby ring <laughs> I, I won't spoiler i won't um, a minky bobble remover. You know when you have clothes that go a bit bobbly? Well, this apparently removes the bobble, so I will find a bobbly top and we will try that out. Some stickers for Darcy for on the plane because I bribe my child with stickers and I'm not ashamed of it. A wreath hook because um, I'm going to got a wreath from my front door. I'll show you that in a minute. And some glow sticks because it's coming up to that time of year where it gets dark early. We love glow sticks in this house. There's a lot you can do with glow sticks. I often put them in the bath for Darcy and then turn the lights off and give her a disco bath. Um, and these were really cheap for a hundred of them. I will link everything below. Let's go and put this on the door and put the wreath on it, shall we? That's a bit bloody nice, isn't it? This was from HomeSense, but a, a year gone by. I'm sure they'll still have these. In fact, I'm pretty certain they do have wreaths in store. Um, but if you're looking for this exact one, it might not be that one, because I've, I've had this a few years. Isn't it gorgeous? I've mastered the art of this now. You want a high heat, 
your, all my cameras fizzing up a high heat, a decent amount of oil, cover the bottom of the pan in the kernels. Make sure you have it covered. A glass lid is so much better than the other kind because obviously you can just see through it. Have your popcorn bucket ready and then just sprinkle with salt. Or oh, there's loads of different recipes actually. Some people do cinnamon, you can do cocoa powder. Oh, we're in business, yes! While that's popping, I also forgot to include this in the um, haul, the, the Amazon haul because I'd moved it away from little eyes. I bought Darcy an advent calendar. It's Olaf's Frozen Adventure. It was around the £20 mark. You get all these little toys in it, so each one, and I think they make like a little scene, a snowy scene. Um, 25 figures, there you go. So I'm going to stash that away. Ready for advent. I'm so excited. It's oddly satisfying, isn't it? Now I'll be honest with you, this popcorn is not as good as cinema popcorn, especially American cinema popcorn where they have those like big squeezy things where you can just squeeze more butter onto it. But because I'm doing this more like healthy, healthy, giving it a go <laughs> kind of thing, um, I've been having this for a while now and actually I've now become really accustomed to it. It's funny what, I'm just putting my salt away, it's funny what you get accustomed to. So for example, this morning I had a packet of these, um, here we go, they're the Aldi rice cakes and I, uh, with chocolate on, chocolate coated, and I used to love those, I could go through an entire bag of those a day, like the bag has three packets in, each packet has three rice cakes in. And I had a packet of them today and I felt like they were really, really sickly sweet. I never thought I'd be the kind of person that's like, oh no, too, that chocolate rice cake's too sweet for me. I did not think I'd be that woman, but I was. And also, it's not been a, it's not been a healthy eating day today. I had a McDonald's breakfast because Liam rang. He was like, I'm going past, I'm going to bring you one at home. I was like, okay. And then I had it and I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't, didn't find, didn't dislike it, obviously. <laughs> Gotta love it. Um, but I didn't love it the same way as I used to. And I think, I'd be interested to know, is there a science? Do your taste buds actually change? Or is it just because you know what's better for you? I don't know, because I don't really want to, I don't want my taste buds to change, because I would like to still enjoy these things. Um, it's interesting, it's an interesting journey I'm on. You know when people say I'm on a health journey, you're like, oh, are you? Um, and you feel a bit cringe for them. <laughs> like, I feel like I am on a health journey, and I like it. I also really like my totter and tumble mat. Now that the kids aren't here, I can properly tell you my thoughts on it, because uh, I'm not being distracted. I freaking love it. I love, so if you look, it looks like it's got a texture to it. That like, it looks like it's got a fabric-y texture, but it, it doesn't, they're just, it's just matte, it's just plastic. Um, and I love that it's reversible, so when I get bored, I can put that on. I think it's really good, it feels really squidgy and it's nice. It's nice that Pearl can crawl all over it and dribble all over it and I can just wipe it. Totally not sponsored by Totter and Tumble or affiliated with them or even friends with them. <laughs> Although I'm sure they're very nice people, they're not, I don't know them. Um, just wanted to share that because I think a lot of you would be in the same boat as me. Right, laptop time, emails time, sort your life out time. Can we take a minute to talk about how gorgeous this child is in these little jeans? Can we take a minute? I don't want you to grab out of these jeans. I wish I'd bought more of them. Where can I put the camera? Uh, nowhere, we'll just have to hand hold. We're waiting for Daddy to come home. It's 27, you're just ripping little bits out of my hair, aren't you? Ripping little bits, I have to take my earrings out when I hold her. Because you're a ripper, a hair ripper. Oh, some snuggles. God, this baby is so lovely. Oh, I will squeeze you. Mm. <laughs> Oh. 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 <laughs> One, two, three. Ah. I'm like a human tower of terror. One, two, three. Ah. <laughs> Why is she so precious, please? Ready, steady, roar. Ready, steady, roar. Okay, she's gonna have a little crawl around, around on her totter and tumble mat, aren't you? Or maybe not, and I'm going to upload my video with Marcus, if she doesn't squawk. 
Good morning. It's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? It's Thursday. Thursday. I'm here with Hello. Rainbow Katie. Got a got a full rainbow on. We're at the garden centre. We are dressing, trendy. Dressing up for the LAG. Dressing up for the. I love the garden centre. Oh, Who okay. wants a trendy Soho vegan cafe? Not me. Why a hash brown, a sausage. Yeah. Banter. You were all this So we're here having breakfast. We're in the Christmas. <laughs> it's like a weird <laughs> goblin. We're in the Christmas section of the garden centre and you're telling me some I interesting want a, things. I want a, it's really interesting. I want a flashing reindeer. £40? I felt like him. This one moves. But then they'll But you've got a lot of time. wire. Yeah, a lot I think of wire. probably a bit. I think that, well, I like this a lot. I think this is very regal. This is very Blenheim Palace. Yeah, I'm not really, I'm liking this. Although this is a bit of fun, isn't it? <laughs> That one. They must get more, do they? Yeah, it, was it. it will. This is not it. They're going to do more. This but your October if you carry on, it's all quite distressing. So you're like, oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. What is this? It's a Christmas tragedy. Look at this. It's all gone to pot. It's really depressing, isn't Santa's it? Santa's sleigh. It's Santa's drunk. Oh, God. It's seen better days, hasn't it? Although these are some quite good storage baskets. Yeah, Do you want to go to Home nice. Sense later? Yes, definitely. Yes. Oh, look at these. What am I looking for? Yeah, Liam really wants these to go <laughs> out in the front garden. Oh, I think that would be nice. I liked these, but he was like, no, I prefer the canes. I could see Liam with this, yeah. Well, the candy, can you see him doing a jig? Yeah, that would actually good. <laughs> okay, everyone, so this is our big boy, and we're covering the price. I'm just going to give you a far away shot of it. I want you to guess the price. We'll come a bit closer. These are mini plastic, um, and guys. inside there's like a like a disco ball it's large it's got fiber yeah, optic hair his tail. yeah his tail oh is, uh... fiber optic tail as well so it's very big in comparison to jizzy I here could ride him. you could ride him <laughs> right how much do you think it is <gasps> what what <laughs> what oh you can't you can't it's, you're not allowed to ride him oh uh, that's his children though Doesn't can we just guess this price what do we what do you think of that i, I think, think who's got 750 pounds to spend on that well, that's okay. I'm not against unicorns. <laughs> Jizzy's not a tinsel person, but I think I appreciate this tinsel, is a classy but... tinsel. I think. Look at it. It's got a whole graphic. This would go in your lounge very beautifully. It would. This but... would go in my lounge very beautifully. It's a bit lacking on the old. Tinsel. They're setting it up. Give them a chance. God. <laughs> we were just on our way home. Uh, and then I decided that I'm going to really treat Jizzy to quite the experience. We're going to go to Poundland because obviously I've been hinged. So I'd like to see what they've got in there. And I'd like to see what autumn and Christmas... Did you just did you just <laughs> snort at me? Because I'm excited to see what they've got in Poundland. Once you get into the joys of Poundland, you won't come back, Jizzy. I've been to Poundland. But Christmas at Poundland when they had all the elf stuff. To be fair, our Poundland in my town isn't very good. This top makes me look awfully wide, doesn't it? No, it's a lovely colour. But do I look wide? No. So I've got a shoulder at my shoulders end here, but these add a lot of girth. You're like in the 80s with the shoulder Ooh, pads. Oh, I've got a message. Kate is refusing to get a basket. Um, Louise let me borrow her basket, and then just because I put this in it, she doesn't want me to have it. Because I think I'm going to go crazy around the shop. Look at these. They're sweet, aren't they? What is that? That is doll parts. That is creepy. That's right. That would really frighten Darcy a lot. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's a bit bones, much for me. Bones poking out. No. They've got the Christmas stuff. This is the kind of thing that excites me. The Christmas card pack for schools. So let's see what cards you get. Here's one that's already open. I hate doing Christmas. Oh, they're cute, aren't they? Just little, a little card. Is it too early to buy these, do you think? Is it... Is it just going to get lost? Yes, it is. I'll come back around Christmas time. Right, nobody get too excited. But whilst it's in Poundland, I bought some batteries. So I'm going to put them in my Turbo Scrub Mini. And I'm going to use that and my Pink Stuff Cleaning Paste. And I'm going to have a go at my hob. Louise can't figure out where to put the batteries. There's no, um... Hole. Yeah. Don't break it. Well, I, I won't. I, am I being... Silly. Where on earth do you put the batteries? Let me have a little look. We I figured found, it out. Yeah, I found the, um, it says, inserting the batteries, remove the brush face by compressing the recessed grips. What the? Oh, is this it? 
What am I pulling on? I think I'm gonna pull this. Oh! Oh! Oh, it just came out of my hand. And that felt good. Yeah. Am I still supposed to be uh, filming? Yes. I'm <laughs> some content right here. So I put my laugh there. And then I'll put that back on. Right. We feel like we need to watch it being unveiled for the first time now. Okay, and then I'll put my end on. It's very suggestive. Only in your dirty mind. <laughs> Oh, oh wow. 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 Okay, so now if you'd like to come over. Oh, yes, yes. Now I'm absolutely ashamed of how disgusting my hob is. Um, it's not that bad. I, it's oil and muck and horror. So I am going. Oh, I don't want to touch myself with any of this. Some of this. The pink stuff. Now, do you have to wet it? How do we use this? Direct? The pink stuff is a mild abrasive paste. Um. Right, infant out test. Apply using a soft cloth or sponge, rub gently, rinsing with clean water. Well, I'm going to use my sonic brush, which isn't really a soft cloth, is it? I know, but I don't think it matters. For something like this, though, I think you've got to go big or go home, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's satisfying. Look at that. That just looks like you want to put it on your face and use it as a face mask. What oh, does it, it smell like? It smells like sweet. Oh, it does smell nice. Right, are you ready for this? <sighs> so, get a good shot of this, please. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> that is satisfying. Oh. 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 This feels good. I will link these products below. They sound it does sound very exciting. Oh, do you want to have a go? Yeah, I do. Okay. How do you feel about it? I feel like it's very, very satisfying. Louise yeah. is making me do this, by the way. She's like, come over for the day. Come over and clean my house. house. Oh, it is. Oh. oh. Should we put some more on? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't double dip. Don't double dip. Oh. Because is that manky now? No, it's not really. Okay, give it a Oh, dip. do Just carefully. Oh. oh. I found the trick with this is to barely scrub it. Because I was doing this and it was slowing the scrubbing motion. But just very lightly. Just does all the no, work. No, although I do want to get in there. There we go. It's like um, an electric toothbrush, but for your stuff, isn't it? Uh -huh. Oh, I cannot wait to wipe this off. Do we have to leave it to soak, do you think? Oh. She's got her rubber gloves on now. It's getting, on. it's getting serious. Look at that. Can you just look oh at that? Oh my god. Okay, I'm actually going to have Compare to get it some. Compare it to this, just here. Yeah. This yep. side. How disgusting it is. Can you? I mean. So I wasn't like wow. in the height, but now wow. I actually. Oh. Okay, I'm actually. Where did you get it from? <laughs> I got it from Amazon. Oh my oh, god, it's actually. Oh yes. I was a bit just kind of humouring you, but it is actually oh, amazing. Yeah, I was humouring you. <laughs> but like, it is amazing. Oh my god, that is actually that has come out brilliantly. Have you ever been so excited? I don't think I ever have been so excited, Should no. We do another? Should we do another? Go on one? then. Okay, okay. Right. ready, ready. <gasps> that it literally looks like new. <gasps> Wowzers. I cannot believe it. Oh my god, look at it. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Look at it, seriously, compared to. You could actually eat off that. I mean, I wouldn't, but you can. Is that what you're going to make me my lunch on? <laughs> you can eat your dinner off the hob. You can eat your dinner off the hob. That is really, really... That is impressive. That's, that's something special. I want you to go and I want to just scrub the whole kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off now. Wow. Just, wowee. I just... As many of you will know, usually when I have a jizzy day, we also have someone else over this, don't we? We do. We usually have Emma from Brummy Mummy with us. She was invited and she was going to come, but then she said, oh, I've mysteriously. got... Mysteriously. She mysteriously had to go to London. Now, I did know why, but you didn't know why. I didn't why. know why, I know. Um, because she wasn't sure if it's going to happen, but then she just posted this picture and you were like, oh my God, look <laughs> at this. She's if you so know good. Brummy Mummy, you'll know why this was is, is big, so I'll just show you. Who is Brummy Mummy with? Who is Brummy Mummy with? It's Gary Bollowee. It's Gary Bollowee. I feel like a proud parent of so That's happy. That's so funny. I know. Bless her. Brummy. This will be her life. Look loves, her face. Lo yeah, she is happy. She is happy. She loves Gary Barlow like none other. So that, 
I'm surprised she didn't wet herself with joy. Maybe she did. Maybe she did. <laughs> so, Brummy, we forgive you for not being here. Phil, yeah, I was I, like, I'm happy to be dumped for Gary Barlow. When, when I thought about what she was doing, I was like, maybe she's going to talk to them about like the fact she's going to do a talk or... Yeah. And I was like, that's not going to be very exciting. <laughs> <laughs> I really, I told her that she should, you know when she goes, what's in the box? Ooh, what's in the box? Is it Dick. Gary <laughs> Barlow? And then I wanted to jump out and be like, yes! <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> well done, Emma. Mommy, Daddy, me, and I are going to the mothership, not Waitrose, oh, Home Sense. There's two motherships, Waitrose and Home Sense. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing the whole wee city? I think I can actually see some Christmas stuff. <gasps> Look at this table. Like that That's very you, isn't it? A little bit of monochrome. Yes. Let's have a look at all of this. I love it. Oh, that's nice. Christ is the reason for the season. Can we take a moment to look at this, please? It lights up. Let me turn it on for you. Wait, that's what she said. Look at that, please. Okay, guess how much it is. Guess how much it is. Guess how much it is. It's five ninety nine. It retails for seventeen ninety nine, and it's five ninety nine. I freaking love it. I am so excited by all the Christmas stuff. I'm gonna do such a Christmas haul. Like, I really enjoy this. I know that the nativity scene isn't for everyone, um, but if if you like this kind of thing, this is very pretty. I also saw a, who knows, like a Santa's toy sack, snow globe. Oh, it's a musical one. Oh my God, I love that. I've lost Katie. Oh. Hello. Perusing the Just cherry cushions. Perusing the cushions. I love aisle. this one. It's the best day of the month. It's PO Box Day. I and just find this crazy. I mean, I also do. I can't believe how lucky lucky I am with all of this. Two things that stand out initially. Dove have sent personalised um, like products. So this is their rich moisture lotion, but it's baby pearl. Now I'm assuming that's personalised. It's not just they're bringing out. <laughs> Yeah, you never know. You don't know, do you? It's kind of a name that could be a... Yeah, a product name. And this. Oh no. my goodness, this is the Body Shop Advent Calendar. I absolutely love these well, big Advent calendars. I think it's 12 calendars. days, it's actually 25 days, that's insane. 25? Yeah. So do you think we're on Christmas Day as well? Oh, I wonder what Christmas is, that's going to be the best one. It doesn't even it's tell you, the sometimes they tell you, don't they? Enchanted Beauty Calendar. Love now, it. Now, I want to tell you something. Yeah, do. So, Someone else I know, Lucy Jessica Carter, recommended the Body Shop Foundation, and really? I am loving it. I've never really. You bought would never much... think no. to go there for foundation, ne would I've you? Never, like never bought makeup from there before, but yeah. I'm loving it. Oh, nails and nail varnish is absolutely beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Oh, something from Nars. I love everything from Nars. Some lovely got a brushes. Lot of this. Like everything is there. Sigma. Sigma brushes are. Let's see. Oh, look, baby pearl as well. <gasps> Oh, wow. Is that lip gloss or eyeshadow? What's this? Mm, not quite sure, but I like it. <gasps> Thank you very much to all of the brands that very, very kindly send things to my PO box. Please note, if you are just a viewer, like a, a regular human, please don't send gifts. This is really just for brands. I don't want you to spend your hard-earned money on me. So we've got some Sigma. We've, we found out that the, um, the glittery thing is a glitter lip topper. And that's from Incredible, isn't it? The glitter lip topper. Yeah. We've got some palettes. And the girl guides as well sent me um, a letter. And they said they've sent me a little outfit. And I am so behind the girl the girl guides and brownies. Darcy's just joined brownies, which brownies is part of the girl guides, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Like, so, girl guides, thank you very much. I support you 100%. This. It's the most beautiful piece of art, this lovely print that we've been sent, and it doesn't have a name on it. So if that's you, um, could you comment on this video, and if you guys see that the person has commented, could you all respond to it and heart it so that that comment gets bumped up and I can see it, because I would really like to personally thank you, because this is just so gorgeous. I'm actually going to frame it and put it in this room, because oh, it would look really nice. yeah, the colours are so gorgeous, and... I really appreciate it. We don't have a lot of stuff with all four of us on. And the cats as well. Ah, oh, lo I, I love it. <laughs> Those cats, you don't Those love my cats, cats do you? Cats. <laughs> Katie's jealous because my cats have an Instagram account. She's like, your murky brown cat does better than I do on Instagram. <laughs> oh, we've got a book from Dina. Do you follow Dina on Instagram? No. She's so good, I love her. So this is all about modest fashion. 
um, because she is Muslim, so she like does a lot of fashion to suit um, sort of the is it I don't, is guidelines the right word like guidelines of religion like boundaries. I think because so, yeah. Muslim ladies like to dress modestly, don't they? She smashes it in this book. I love it. I think she's oh, yeah. brilliant, this girl. Her whole family is seems really lovely. Isn't she gorgeous? Look at that. That's Nas. What's the palette called on the bottom? Singapore. <gasps> wow. Oh, come on. Focus. Focus. Oh, yes. That is sensational. I know I've already said it, but just to reiterate, thank you so much to all the brands that send things to the PO box. If you're wondering, what, what is this? Do you ask for it? Like, how does it work? Brands will often have a marketing budget where they'll send, um, I don't call myself this, but this is what you're called in the industry. Is it your favorite word? Influencers. Do you like being called an influencer? Not really one. Not really. Um, they'll send influencers products because they, hope that if we like it we'll tell you guys about it etc so um that's why things get sent to the PO box but I'm always very grateful because it's like blooming Christmas um it's an exciting day if you contributed to this little book which I won't open because some of you have written quite personal things just want to say thank you so much it's so sweet I always appreciate your letters as I say please don't ever send gifts or spend money but little letters are treasured what is this? What is this? Please want to close a few fragrances. Oh la la. From At Atelier Cologne. Wow, that's like a. That's, that's fancy. I'll open this later. Open this with Liam. It's like Christmas. And, oh no, actually, yes. I'll just open it now. This is cute. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look. They all have like special. Oh, per I'm assuming they're not for the children, but just that's what they're yeah, called. No, just called Spring for the glitter. Perfume. Wild about the girl. Yes. <gasps> wow. Should we smell one? Look, you've got some personalised one... here as well. Personalised things just get me. Let's have a little. Oh, these are cute. One sec, one sec. Oh, wow, that's nice. That's really nice. That smells like very grown up. That's lovely. So, thank you very much to. Um, how would you pronounce this? Atelier Cologne? Atelier Cologne. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm so excited. Kath Kidson have very kindly sent, have you seen this? Their Snow White collection? No. This is the Apple, like, is that handbag. Bag? Yes, yeah, and when I go to Disney, Disney. yes. That's oh, so cute. isn't that just the cutest, the poison apple bag? I feel like this is Christmas for me. I don't even know why. I'm just loving this it. This is. Oh, and I've got some more Olay bits. Oh, look, you've got, Thank you very much, Snow Olay. White as well. Yes. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, that is so cute. <gasps> thank you, thank you. I was just saying to Jizzy that I have never ever had, hang on, let's focus it, a Jo anything from Jo Malone. So I'm so excited because this is the English oak and red currant. I think that's is that what perfumer, um, is that room spray? Um, cologne. Yeah, it's so perfumer thing. Yeah. So thank you very, very much, Jo Malone. That's this really is very exciting. exciting. Oh, what? <laughs> we opened it. I was like, oh, it's Disney. It's Disney. Is it oh, Cinderella? Stop. Stop. No, oh my There's god. There's so many of them. Do you know we don't have a DVD player? <laughs> but I know somebody at my church who would absolutely love this. Especially in like a gift box of all of it. Yeah. That would be really nice. Oh wow. Thank you, Disney. Although we don't have a DVD player, I will make sure that this goes to a really grateful home and I'm really grateful that you kindly sent these. So they've been sent to me because it's all about having Disney time with your family. Let me assure you, we have a lot of Disney time. Yeah. We spent most of the day talking about Disney, haven't we? Because yeah. we're going on holiday at the same time as Disney. So although I won't have this Disney time, I really appreciate it. I want you to know that and I know someone that will appreciate it. Okay, Katie has left the building. I have D-dayed, I've taken the day off, taken my earrings out, put on my comfy clothes. Pearl has pearly. God, this walker, she's just a little menace on it. Come on, my sausage. Let's go back. I have been waiting all day to do the rest of the pink stuff and the Sonic, what's its official name? That scrubbing thing. I'll throw in the, pa the packaging away. I'm going to link it below. 
I've been waiting all day to do the rest of this with my sonic scrubber. I think Hinch has got a name for it, not the shark, because that's a hoover, but something. And I'm gonna get the other attachments on it. Ugh, can he wait? used too much <laughs> I mean look at it <gasps> when it comes off it's just like squeaky clean under there right I'm gonna take it all off I'll show you when it's done because Pearl need to stop doing this to give Pearl her bottle going in with the smaller nozzle now to get into all the little like corners the 90 degree angle and then I'm gonna leave this to soak Okay, I know I've done this one that I didn't need to do. I'm gonna leave this to soak. I'm gonna do a little hinchy because it's Mrs. Hinch that inspired this. And do a little there we go. We'll do L loves Darcy and Belle. Oh no, now it says L loves DP. Oh we all know. Oh no, only if you've got the dirty as mine. Oh no, I don't want Liam to come home and see that. <laughs> I would legitimately lick that, it's so clean. Would you, Liam? I'm not asking you to, but would you? Does it look clean enough to lick? Liam? Oh. What, sorry? Not. Do you think the hob looks clean? Oh yeah, I think the general fit. Thanks babe, I appreciate you. Going in with the smaller nozzle now, to get into all the little like corners the 90 degree angle and then i'm going to leave this to soak okay i know i've done this one that i didn't need to do i'm going to leave this to soak i'm going to do a little hinchy because it's mrs hinch that inspired this and do a little there we go we'll do l loves darcy and Bell. Oh no, now it says L loves DP. Oh, we all know. oh no, only if you've got the dirty as mine. Oh no, I don't want Liam to come home and see that. <laughs> Good morning, Mom Petty Paws. It is Friday and we are off for Liam's mum's birthday. We're taking her for afternoon tea at this most lovely place called Forsley Hall. I feel a bit ropey. I feel like I've got a cold coming on. Um, I've spent the morning editing that video, just getting my little tripod, editing that video that I made about um, childhood abuse on Monday. So, oh dear, come on white balance, there we go. So I've got sort of that swirling around my head and I don't feel particularly well, but I put my makeup on, I've had some tablets, as in pills, not like eating an iPad, lol 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 and I'm gonna go and have some scones. And I just think that scones will cheer cheer me up because scones cheer everyone up. So that's that. And then later on, I'm going, um, I'm going for a night out with Esther, but not how you would imagine. Before I head off, if you could ignore all the junk in the background, I'll show you my little outfit here. It's this cream wrap top and the skirt from, this is from Lindy Bop, and then little pumps, flat pumps, I think probably from ASOS and channeling, feeling a little bit regal actually, if I dare say so, which I do. Can we take a moment to appreciate how stinking cute this baby looks? Look at her little socks. Look at her little face. I cannot even bear it. Just casually driving with our, with our sheepy friends. They don't seem at all afraid of the cars, do they? Hello. What's missing? <laughs> What's missing? Is it one of these? Is it a socky? 
Have you pulled that sock off, you little monkey? Is that sock off? Is that sock off? <sighs> you little monkey, there you go then, you can hold your sock. You little sausage. Yeah. This is the gorgeous hall that we're in. <laughs> Elle's having a good time. She's having a good time. And we're just waiting on all the food. Going. Where are you going? <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Why is she so cute? Well, I go the cup. Okay. Look at that. I am ready. Here's our table. There's Pearl. We've got an escapee. Pelly! Have you escaped? <laughs> as much as I love wearing the fancy, fancy clothes, there's nothing I enjoy more than coming back. Wow, why am I so blue? I'm not living in an eye. Oh, whoops. I was on the wrong setting. That's a bit better. Uh, yeah, there's nothing I enjoy like, more than coming home and putting on comfies. I am going to Asda tonight with Esther. Woo! -hoo! Living it up. So I can't like de-bra, which is what I'd like to do. But I will put on jeans and a comfy top. Oh, we're getting some modelling, some fancy shoes. Oh, lovely, lovely. This is Darcy, by the way, in case you didn't know, she said, I want you to show my shoes, but not my face. So we're just having some shoe modelling. Pretty good, Darcy. Are they bejeweled? Um, yeah, but tomorrow my friends are coming over and I'm going to be a teacher, so I'm going to wear these. What do you think teachers wear shoes like those? Yes. I'm in the car with us. Oh, hang on. Oh, look, it's so easy. It's here. Oh, it's here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, I'm not focused. Hang on. You just fear because so I'm in the car with Esther. There she is. We are off to Asda because I'm working with them next week on um, a sponsored video, so we're gonna go get some supplies. But left, <laughs> we just got lost, went down this little road, and then there were these huge like blockades there. This isn't, this isn't no word of a lie. There were these blockades there, and then there were these two great big vans with dogs barking, and this little spotlight, spotlight flashed on us. And this man who I would not want to come up against on a dark Dark night. night. <laughs> He's a dark guy. <laughs> He's a dark guy. He looked like Rambo or like he, he looked yeah. like that kind like of super not Superman, what is it? Um E Man. E Man, yeah. And we were like, oh, hello! Good job, good, good evening! Good evening. Good evening, sir! Sorry to bother you while the dogs like these Alsatian like rah, rah, rah. I'm like, so sorry to bother you. Are we anywhere near Asda and IKEA? And then he started what can I describe as yelling instructions? Is it down here? Yes. Down here? I think so. yes, yes. I'm busy. Yes. Should we go back and ask? No. <laughs> <laughs> left! Left! He was like, left! Turn left! And we were like, oh, thank you! Thank you so much! The dogs were killing us in the background. It was terrifying. <laughs> this light shone in our eyes, and I was just like, <laughs> "What? I is think this? I'm a bit lost." Well, we just went part. Why didn't you go? Babe, babe, I'm, I'm completely lost. This is okay. No, I don't want to go into the funny road again. No, this is this is the back end. This is the delivery. Wait, go this way. Le left, left, left. Go down here. Left. <laughs> no, no, no. Down there. No, that's a one way. <laughs> Got here in one piece. Just pumpkins. 75 pence. Very, very good price. And a lovely a... size for children. Yes, perfect. Not too big, not yeah. too small. Oh, just casually looking at the air fresheners. What what unstoppables air fresheners? Do we have any in Pearl though? Sadly not. Take two, because Esther didn't get it right. It's just not a sprinkle of glitter video unless you've got a Sprinkle of glitter. Yeah, that's right. Well done. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it. It's about. What time is it? Oh my god, guess what time it is. What? It's 
nine o'clock. Oh, really? We're out late, Esther. It's a, it's a late one tonight. Wow. Woo um, so I'm going to end the vlog here. The trolley's going. She's rooting through my bag. <laughs> it's the end of the vlog. I'll leave everything linked below. Two new videos went up today, uh, this week. There was one with Marcus Butler talking about money and investments. And then there was another one today all about ASOS clothes and a try on and all that sort of stuff. So two quite different videos, but worth a watch. I'll link everything below. Thanks so much for watching. See you next week.